Hey guys, welcome to an exciting video of chemistry. Yay, chemistry! The topic I will be discussing is the chemical responses in our brain based on our environment. The environment can lead to various of emotions depending the impact to an individual. No matter if we're in love, angry, happy, or sad, believe it or not, it all deals with chemistry right in here. Let's start in with love. It's in our nature. We all have been in love once in our lives, right? There is a phrase that couples tend to say is that they consist good chemistry with one another. In fact, they are right. Although we associate love with the heart, the true chemistry can be seen inside the brain. The first stage in falling in love is a chemical response called dopamine. Dopamine is a love struck chemical that couples produce or individual once they are in love. High levels of dopamine stimulates desire and reward. Norepinephrine is similar to adrenaline, which in effect makes our heart to race. With these two chemicals combined and released, motivation, craving, and even desire will impact your feelings toward your partner. Epinephrine is one of the chemicals rapidly produced by the adrenaline gland when a person experiences frustration, anger, or other forms of stress. These psychological reactions are designed to assist the person in reacting to what is causing the stress. Scientists refer to this chemical effect as the fight or flight reaction. Depending on the situation, it relies on the person to either engage in an aggressive act or get away from the situation. Yeah, no one takes my car wallet. You see, no one. Endorphin is a chemical to be released in the pituitary gland and other parts of the brain or distributed throughout the nervous system when one is happy. Chemists found that high levels of endorphin is said to reflect less pain and negativity and stress are unaffected to one's mood, which leads to happiness. However, the activation receptors of endorphin does not lead to addiction, rather it is a dependency to one's decision to be happy or moody. Scientists refer to this chemical as a pain-killing molecule. Low levels of noepinephrine and serotonin will in effect cause a chemical imbalance in the brain, which will eventually lead to depression. Being in the depression state can be caused by any change in familiar patterns of behavior, which can be experienced a loss of a loved one. Suppressing the energy and motion of sadness, allowing to build sad feelings, release through crying, can lead to major depression. Studies have shown that the brain of people who commit suicide have the few receptors that permit proper distribution of serotonin. I have risen from the dead. Hope you guys liked the video and hope you guys learned something new about the chemical releases in the brain on each specific emotion. 
Love you guys all. I'm out. Deuces.